For our book report project, we chose the book The Fleet Street Murders by Charles Finch. What historical events were covered in this book? There was no significant historical event covered in our book, but throughout the story, the main character, Lennox, runs for Parliament. The one historical connection made that represents our history is the selection of a new Parliament member every five years. In our story, Lennox is hoping to win this position when Stoke, the current member of Parliament for Sterlington, suddenly dies. How did the author use this event in the book? Is it central to the story? Does the author make good use of the event? The main character, Lennox, was entering into a new career in his life as a member of Parliament. A majority of the book focused around his struggle in the race for Parliament. The author, Charles Finch, ties in Parliament with the murders contained in Caruthers and Pierce by making Parliament the first task for Lennox to finish in order to continue with the mystery of the deaths. Parliament was an important factor in this story because it showed how politics and crime relate in a way that they both involved being able to be persuasive and use clever strategies. What is one connection between the Fleet Street murders and something we've learned in class? One connection between the Fleet Street murders and something we've learned in class is taxes. The people of Sterrington's biggest concerns was on lowering taxes, especially the beer tax. In order for the people to take Lennox's side, he had to be in favor of the beer tax. He had this to his advantage because it was the one thing his opponent, Rudel, was against. Rudel's disagreement towards passing this ta tax law was because he owned most of the breweries. This relates to the revolutions we've learned about in such ways as the person in power putting in place unfair taxes.